Hello, you are watching Western Reserve News. I'm your host, Bruce Rogers, and we invite you to sit back and watch the highlights of meetings that we are doing this week. And this is the week of October 12th, and on Monday, Western Reserve News was at Perry Township and at Goshen Township. And on Tuesday, Western Reserve News was at the Columbiana Board of Education meeting. Here we go! And when they were passing out the blue ribbons, one went to the Columbiana Middle School. Um, Southside Middle School was named uh, on September 29th a Blue Ribbon Middle School. Um, excellent, excellent achievement. This is a big deal. Um, We're one of 285 public schools nationally to, to receive this award. Um, it's given to schools that are testing at the top 15 percent of the state and um, I know Mr. Buzzard's going to talk to you a little bit about the middle school aspect of, of one of just a few middle schools in fact one of only two in our tri-county area that, that received this award. Um, he's going to travel to Washington DC on November 9th and 10th and uh, teacher Jody Edwards will be traveling with him as well um, also, Meg Silver had a, had a big part in, in uh, some of the writing of the, the material and, and whatnot that went into um, allowing the, the national folks to, to take a closer look at us and, and really evaluate how well we've done. So we appreciate the work that Jody, Mr. Buzzard, and uh, Mrs. Silver have done to, to put us in position to be recognized for, for this award. The Columbiana Principal Reports are very informative but are too long to post in this highlight clip. So just click on videos and click on the Columbiana Exempted School Board of Education. But here is a sampling. Um, I'd like to thank the Columbiana Fire Department. They came for Fire Prevention Week and spoke with the kids and showed them they even brought the new truck out, so they got to see the new truck. Uh, Noah Clark has finished our, our shed in our outdoor learning center for part of his Eagle Scout badge. And I know, Mike, we took a lot of pictures, so he, when his schedule permits, he's going to come in and, and share his pictures with you and show you everything that he did. I'd like to thank the Lions Club and Dr. Moreski. Um, they did vision screenings today for every first grader and every third grader in the, uh, in the building. October's National Hunger Awareness Month. We're in the process. We have three humongous boxes of food to donate to the First Christian Church um, Oasis Food Bank. Filling in a few uh, additional holes there for the Blue Ribbon School. Uh, we were one of 14 school buildings in the state of Ohio, one of four middle schools to be chosen. Um, I kind of come up with the idea of what we were doing and Mrs. Edwards and Mrs. Silver are very very good writers so they need a lot of credit for uh, writing, our, writing our application and uh, doing it in a, in a manner that, that got us to win. I, my wife does some grant writing and it's not always what your idea is, it's, it's putting it together and uh, they did a fantastic job at that. I'd like to thank the state of Ohio. <clears throat> First step we had to do was get to be a rep from Ohio and uh, you know we, Ohio chose us as somebody that they thought maybe would have a chance to win. So um, the, um, all the people I worked with in Columbus, I, we uh, would like to thank them for the chance to win the award. So those um, we're currently looking at adding um, two uh, new AP offerings. We're just getting some background in that. Um, we're looking at chemistry and possibly computer science, so uh, look for updates for that. Uh, fall OGTs, uh, as you know, the OGTs are being phased out, and we still have a few kids who are taking them. Uh, they'll be taking them the week of October 26th. Uh, I want to give a congr congratulations once again to Trisha Nord and the speech and debate team. They were awarded uh, the 100 Club by the National Speech and Debate Association. 
um, they are ranked among the top 10% of the schools nationwide. So congratulations to Trish Nord. This is the second year in a row that they have been ranked. And at Perry Township, we have the zoning report and the police report and the fire department report. And we need to just go around the room. Jeff. Jeff Hughes, zoning officer. Uh, one permit that Don handled a while ago at a time. It was a garage and an addition of some sort of sunroom. And that's pretty much it. A lot of complaints. <laughs> well, I was supposed to have my new hire here today, but Friday he called and he took a job elsewhere. Full time, working 12 hour shifts, so I'm going to start over again. Okay. And also, the Glocks arrived today, so we'll be transitioning from the new ones and shipping the old ones back under that agreement I had back in August, where they were buying them back. And we got new ones for 75 apiece. So we'll be heading to the range within the next two weeks. And that's all I have. Okay. Bruce. Um, first of all, Salem Fire is having a uh, class for the seven deadly sins of the fire grounds. I have two gentlemen that would like to attend that. Um, it is $30 a person. So I'd like to know if I get approval for sixty dollars to send those. Okay. So moved. <coughs> Thank you. Second of all, um, our breakfast will be November twenty-first this year. Okay, November twenty-first. That's a pancake breakfast. Correct. Pancake, sausage, all you can eat. Okay. Good. That's the weekend before Thanksgiving. Correct. Okay. Uh, the other issue we've been having, the only other issue we have. Um, our refilling station for our SCBA tanks, um, it has, it's pretty old, uh, it's been having some major issues. Um, I sent out to Warren Fire, I got a quote, I do believe, I don't know if Susan has a copy of it. You have a copy of it? Okay. Um, I can't find nobody to certify it or inspect it because it's so old, um, they deem it unsafe. Um, it won't quite take our air bottles up to the 2216 that we need. So um, I'd like your what you guys think about possibly purchasing a new one. At the Goshen Township meeting, a new police officer is hired. And Chief McDaniel says that everyone will have to have cameras. In the month of September, we had a total of 323 events, a total of 69, 36 on the cars. Uh, it's been a relatively quiet month. Um, I do apologize for not being here last meeting, but I had some issues at home, and uh, our other supervisors were tied up at a funeral. Um, that's where I want to go. I wish, hope everybody would uh, include Brian Newhart's family. In their prayers, Brian uh, passed away here last month with Lou Gehrig's disease. Uh, pretty aggressive. He only had it for like about a month. And so, um, so keep them in your prayers. Um, a couple resignations. I need the trustees to us. You know, one would be Dylan Schaefer resigned again uh, as of 9 24 15 with his last day. I just need the trustees to prove that. Do we want to do both resignations under one motion? Yeah, we can do both of them together. And Ken McLaughlin resigned uh, to a position at another department. Uh, his was effective on the 14th of this month. I make a motion that we accept the resignation of the two part-time officers. I'll second it. Roll call vote. Mr. Beeson? Yes. Mr. McCrack? Yes. Mr. Heineman? Yes. I'm asking the trustees to approve the hiring of Christopher Weingart. Uh, Christopher's sitting back there. He's a sergeant <coughs> in Waterford. Um, we'll just come out here and work a couple days a week. 
got a lot of experience, uh, a lot of qualifications, so I'm asking the trustees to approve the hiring him uh, part-time. What date do you want to start date on that? Um, next Monday, next Sunday? Yeah, we'll just start next Sunday that way. I'll make a motion uh, that we uh, hire Christopher Weingart as a part-time officer. I'll second the motion. Roll we'll call, uh, Mr. Hyman. Yes. Mr. McCracken. Yes. Mr. Beeson. Yes. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Back to the township again. <laughs> um, me and uh, Corporal Calco attended. Uh, I was like, if we have a class, we spend you know some money on to kind of get brought back, you know, back what we did. We attended the Attorney General's conference last week down in uh, Columbus. Uh, picked up some classes on our uh, camp, camp quarters that we're carrying. And with that training that we seen that we, you know, next year probably every department's going to have to have cameras. It's going to be probably uh, part of uh, the governor's bill that he's got in, you know, trying to get past.